So today we're at All Saints Academy in uh, Cheltenham and we're running some teach training activities. This is part of Engineer which is a European project um, which is to encourage engineering in primary schools across 10 different countries in Europe and beyond hopefully after the project finishes. The purpose of this training is to enable primary school teachers to understand more about what engineering is and how that relates um, to the curriculum that they deliver in science and design and technology and also to enable them to inspire um, their pupils um, in engineering and to enable their pupils to understand what engineering is. We're taking some primary school teachers through the activities and letting them understand that it's something that they will be able to do themselves in school. What we're focusing on today mostly, so we're getting you to do the you know, designing and building a vacuum cleaner and then later a glider wing. Um, that's, the, that's the fun, hands-on bit. And that's the bit that for you as teachers, it seems to me that's often what you don't get an opportunity to do, is to just do it for yourselves, an activity, and try it out for yourselves. And that's where you will learn. <laughs> I think it's probably true that sometimes primary school teachers lack the confidence to realise that actually there are some tasks that may seem complicated and tricky but actually um, they're surprisingly straightforward when you actually sort of sit down and, and break it down into different activities. Okay, try reversing it again. Don't forget we have black wire and you have wire strippers so you can custom make your wire sizes and I wouldn't worry about getting it too low if it works it generally doesn't need to be. There you go. You can get them to think more broadly about things so that you know science is just about being a scientist, engineering isn't just about working with cars and being a mechanic um, and that it applies to all sorts of things and, and that these are really creative subjects. Children are natural engineers and quite often they're missing those opportunities to seize that and run with it and if it gives teachers something to teach the children how to go forward with it then that's inspiring for everyone. You learn so much when you do it for yourself, that's where the real learning is. And so it means that when pupils ask them questions in the classroom, they're much more equipped to answer those kind of practical questions because they've been through the process for themselves. So whenever we do some training, we really like to give them the chance to do that. So part of what we're providing teachers with is space where they can just try stuff out and they can properly give some time to the activity and also obviously because we've run activities like this in schools ourselves we can provide them with some sort of very practical advice. Um, the training has definitely made me feel more confident because I was a little bit wary coming into today when I saw what was on the programme I thought am I actually going to have the skills and the knowledge myself to be able to do it so um, having the training has made me feel that actually I understand it and I have got the skills and I can confidently go back and deliver it to my class. I've had loads of ideas so far, um, good kinesthetic learning so far, so there's lots of group activities which uh, they can all get involved in, they've all got roles, all can achieve. I do think there's a, there's a place for this, um, the practical side of it, obviously an in initial teacher training, but I also think that when you're getting on a bit and you've a few years past the teacher training, you kind of need top-ups in, in get your hands on again and get stuck in there. And obviously technology is changing all the time and it's really good to reflect that you're making modern stuff rather than sort of models of windmills and things all the time. It's been a really good experience just and a big eye-opener really to all the possibilities that are available to us for teaching things like engineering. We've got excited by it, um, so we know that our children will as well. And it just yeah, it gives us the chance to be able to help them more once we get there, because we've had a go at doing it ourselves. Uh, well, I was really nervous when I start, came here this morning, because I was wondering what to expect. But I've actually had a really enjoyable day, and I feel that the activities that I've done today, I can take back to school, and I think they'll really engage the children. The feedback from the teachers we've had so far has been very positive. Loads of people are all fired up, they want to go back into school and immediately do stuff um, with their pupils. A lot of people who said, I didn't believe I'd be able to build a vacuum cleaner and get it working. Because it's only one thing to give them an enjoyable day that they uh, like being a part of, but if it doesn't translate back into the classroom, it doesn't mean that they will actually do something different as a result, then what's what's the point? <laughs> so we want them to go back feeling that it's something they're totally capable of doing and inspire their pupils 